So today I'm painting a wood duck. I'm doing it on a canvas sheet or canvas board, whichever you've got available. So I've just lightly sanded it to get rid of all the rough spots of gesso. And you can also give it another layer if you wish. So I've just put on some lime green paint, as you can see there, and I'm just blending it out, misting it with some fine water mist. So you want a nice fine mister bottle so you don't get big droplets. So I've dried that off and I'm coming back in straight from the tube. I'm just blending it slightly with my blender brush. As you can see, just to darken them edges. So as you can see, I'm just wiping off some paint because you do pick up paint as you're blending. So just wipe off the excess and then you can carry on blending out. It doesn't have to be perfectly blended. So I'm just going back in with some more of that lighter green colour. Just want a nice soft look and just a bit dark around the edges. That's what I'm going for. And my duck will pop out. I like doing these uh, waterfowl paintings. I have a few more coming up if you want to watch out for them. I think I've got a cockerel coming up, an eagle, and there's some others. I might have a cardinal as well coming up. So just keep your eye out for them if you like doing birds. I love doing birds. They're really good to paint. So there, I've dried it off again. I'm just doing the thin glaze. So I've got some glaze in medium and just tinted it with that nice light green colour just to give it a nice soft feel to it all. Bit of a hair there, you've got to flick them off. But when you're glazing, just dry in between, make sure it's properly dry before you come back in, or it'll lift up the underlaying of the paint you put down previously. That's just a one inch flat brush I'm using. So I've got my duck drawn on. I'm just using a soft little bit here, but any brush you're comfortable with. Maybe an angle brush would be okay as well. I'm just putting the dark bluey purple tones in that I can see in my reference photo. I'm just adding some viridian green, as you can see, really dark, nice colour. I'm just getting all the dark values in, so I just find it easier in acrylics to add the darks. And then you can go into your mid-tones and your highlights. As when you're oil painting, that's different, but this is acrylics today. Still using that nice soft filbert, which I quite like. You get used to each brushes, don't you? You pick your favourite brushes and you're like, nope, I'm not changing. <laughs> Sticking with this. Look at all them nice dark values on these feathers. You feel that your paint's drying or dragging a bit, just wash it out with water and then reload your brush. There's nothing fancy on the background, I just wanted to focus solely on the duck itself. I'm coming in with some nice cadmium red deep. If you haven't got that, you can just add a little bit of black to that just to darken it. Say if you've only got cad red medium, just add a little bit of black. So make sure they're quite dry, the paint. It doesn't have to be totally dry, because you can get a nice soft blend into it. But if you want to dry it, dry it off properly. Then you can come back in and do your colours. But sometimes I do work wet into wet, even with acrylics, because I find it's got a good advantage sometimes. It's when you, you want to get rid of the harsh edges and do a nice soft blend, like I'm doing there, on his belly. When you're doing more detail, you want it dry, then you're not mixing in and making mud, picking up other colours you don't want. But more often than not, it's pretty dry. The acrylic does dry quite fast. Unless you're adding glaze and medium. I'm just putting his little feet in there, just be like an orangey tan colour. And obviously adding some shadows. Really pretty ducks these, aren't they? They're beautiful colours. Oh yes, we'll paint him today. That nice duck egg blue there on his feathers coming off of that nice dark value. 
So I've got that nice duck egg blue in, which I really like, because it's a feature of the bird, the bird's colour, actually. I wanted to make sure I got that in. So I've just swapped now to my little round detail brush. Everything's dry. I'm going in wet over dry. That nice viridian green. I've just added a tiny bit of white and yellow to that mix. I'm just getting them little pin feathers in. And I went over that colour there. Can you see that viridian green over that nice blue? It just darkened it slightly to give it a different value. I want it to stand out, which you will do because we've got a nice brighter background. But you could have done a different background also. You could have done it like a peachy colour or a nice light blue. I just went with this because I thought it looked pretty cool. I'm just getting them nice values in and that detail. She's getting concentrated around on his neck. So they've got some nice texture there on his neck. Textures, feathers and things. Shadows and highlights. Come in with that blue colour. Any blue, I think ultramarine blue. You can mix that with a little bit of purple if you want. And then white just to lighten it. Is it lying? <laughs> Too tight there. Must be quacking at something. Just the being king of the castle. Then look at me. Quite a handsome. <laughs> I'm soft blending them, can you see? So it's very little paint. So it's a bit of a, like a scrumbling technique. You don't want too much paint on your brush. And scrumble it on, you get that nice soft effect. Which looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Got amazing head covers, aren't they? Really just to do. A bit lighter. I'm just checking my values here. Can you see me shading just a bit on that white under his chin there? I'm just highlighting his breast bit again. You've got to have your shadows in, so your highlights show up. It was very striking that blue, so I've just added a bit more white just to brown it up slightly. And that nice deep purple. I like that dioxine purple, it's nice. Obviously, I've added a bit of white there just to get some texture feathers on his back. Just swap to a different brush, it's just a bit larger and a nice point at the end. Any brush, like I say, I keep saying, any brush you're comfortable with, you can do, it doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter what other people use, you just stick to what you like, that's what I say. Be comfortable, enjoy what you're doing. Get that nice highlight around his wings, just to separate them feathers a little bit there. And then his feathers coming down where I'm painting now. Just coming back with some nice dark purple. So we've got his eye in right. Little highlights. You can see there highlights on the end of his beam. I'm just using a little bit of yellow there. Go again with just a little bit of paint and brush, just soft, brushing that on. It's giving the indication of feathers, we don't go too heavy on the application of paint. And same there along his back, which all helps progress your skills depending on how much paint you put on your brush. If you overload it, then it just like goes into a mush, and you think, Oh, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm really highlighting them feathers there now with that brighter blue. And nice highlights going. You can stand out in the world. So 
just glaze that burgundy colour as you can see there on his chest just to blend it all in nicely going back with some highlights like I say if you like birds just watch out for the I think I'm doing a red cardinal a cockerel an eagle well they'll be coming out soon keep your eye out well if you subscribe you'll get notified and also I put it in my Facebook group as well I want that really dark underneath there. Can you see how I'm just laying them nice glazing of dark colour in? But sometimes when you're painting along, you, you paint over your values sometimes. Well, I do all the time. So you have to come back and don't try and avoid them. I don't. I just know that they're there and think, yeah, I'll come back to that. I'm not just going to miss it out. I'll just paint over it and then come back. I just find it easier working that way. Just trying to miss little bits out. Just do it all and then come back in. We're going to a liner brush here. I'm just getting them nice textured feathers going. Then coming in with a bigger brush to get a heavier layer of feathers. Soft it out. You can use your fingers. I do all the time. Get a nice soft blend. into these nice highlights now which we need it's the fun bit and yes I love doing highlights and it all comes to life and you're like wow did I really paint that yes you did <laughs> it's a cool feeling isn't it created something it's really good enjoyable so I've got them pin feathers right on his head a nice highlight there on on his beak, especially at the top. Gives it more of a round feel to it as well. So it doesn't look flat. So you've got all them nice layers on, all the contrast correct. I like that bit there, that burgundy bit on his chest. I'm coming in again with some lighter colour. It's just like a, a creamy, fawny colour. Just to get them uh, pops of highlights in on these feathers there. Back to my little round detail brush. It's, I'm dry brushing actually. Yeah, it's a really dry colour. Uh, coating, sorry. I'm not messing too much on what he stood on, I'm just uh, getting some values on it, more concentrating on him. I like this nice lavender colour now that's coming on, it looks really cool. So if you enjoyed this video, you need to watch the video on screen now.